بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وقته وقته لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا أبده ورسوله أرسل رسوله بالهدى ودين الحق لجزر ولا الدين كله وكفى بالله الشهيدة اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى اسقاط سيدنا ومولانا محمد يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبس منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ الَّذِي تَسَاءَلُونَ بِهِ وَالْأَرْحَامِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ عَلَيْكُمْ رَقِيبًا يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا اتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَقُولُوا قَوْلًا سَدِيدًا يُصْلِحْ لَكُمْ أَعْمَالَكُمْ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ وَمَن يُطِعِ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ فَقَدْ فَازَ فَازًا عَظِيمًا أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الذين آمنوا وتطمئن قلوبهم بذكر الله ألا بذكر الله تطمئن القلوب صدق الله العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته brothers and sisters in Islam رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي. اللهم ارنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وارنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه امين يا رب العالمين. We praise Allah Kareem and all perfect and complete praise belongs to Allah only. We praise Him and we ask for His help and His protection. And his final refuge for us against our evil deeds and against our nafs. Whosoever is guided by Allah, he is the person who is rightly guided, and whosoever is led astray by him, there is no guidance for him. By this, do not go away with the impression that Allah Kareem has divided people in groups for some he has decided that they will not be led. to the right path and they will be directed towards the wrong way so that's the reason that they will go wrong way no also allah has not ch- chosen a group of people to say that no matter what their focus is i will guide them right that's also not the case by this de- declaration that Whosoever is guided by Allah, He is the one who is guided right, and whosoever is led astray by Him, there is no guidance for Him. What is it? It actually means and entails is that the person who seeks guidance, the person who addresses himself to Allah Kareem, the person who makes a call and prayer to Him, and asks for guidance, requests for guidance, works for guidance. Allah says, "I guide him," and the one who does not pay attention, the one who does not want to come that way, the one who does not address himself to Allah, Kareem, asking for guidance, then Allah leaves him the way that he is going already. Not that Allah leads him astray; He does not stop him to go astray in the direction that he was going. That's what it means. So, in that case, there is no guidance for that person. I bear witness that Allah Kareem is the only one who is worthy of worship, the only one, and that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is his messenger and his slave. Then we have 
اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى ال اصحاب سيدنا ومولانا محمد may peace and blessing of Allah be on prophet his family and his companions then we have three ayat of taqwa Allah Kareem advising mu'minin muslimin do not die unless you are muslim means you are a muslim you have declared shahada you have accepted the path of peace you have come towards the truth you are following the direction that i have given you then i want you to make progress in it do not stay on step 1 and just be happy with it that we we are muslim we have declared ourselves to be muslim or we are born in a muslim family so everything is okay no all our actions should promote us should take us to better stages of islam in terms of taqwa that's what it is the second ayah allah kareem is advising us teaching us training us with reference to our relationship with the broader family of humanity and this is a very important thing especially in today's day and age the kind of atmosphere that exists in the world muslims vis-a-vis -vis other people it's very important that we understand it because these injunctions are basically for us allah kareem is advising us what should be our interaction with other people what is our relationship with other people and that relationship is that allah says that you are all children of the same family same parent adam alayhi salam and from his side of mahabba and from these two allah kareem says i have spread numerous men and women and by that token whether you are black white yellow or whatever whatever language you may be speaking or you are living in different parts of the world you are all related and by that relationship by that token you need to understand that you have rights and obligations towards each other so do your obligations when you will do that your rights will automatically be protected so somebody can you know raise a question and say sir i am good with the larger family of humanity i try to be good with them but i do not see that kind of thing coming back to me from others what do i do in that case well still you be good to them that's what the orders are that's what prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam displayed in his life he said i have been told to make and join relationship with those who want to delink with me those who want to stay away from me those who do not want to have any relationship with me i have been given the instructions to have relationship with them i have been directed to give the rights of those who do not give my rights so we are the followers of that prophet who was given this order so that order applies on us also no matter what kind of reaction you are receiving from the larger family <coughs> in the world wherever you go whether here or anywhere else still our duty is to display the best traits of humanity to display the best traits of citizenship let me say this way this word we understand this word perfectly <coughs> to display the best traits and qualities of a good citizen a good citizen is the one from whom all other people take good in they can only take good things from him they do not have any danger from him they are not victimized by him he does not mean any ill towards anybody so that's the kind of <coughs> citizenship that islam wants us to have in terms of our relationship with the larger humanity and then the third ayah is that speak the truth side with the truth and follow allah and his messenger and allah says whosoever follows allah and his messenger he indeed is the person who has achieved the mighty success so we should be amongst those who follow allah kareem and who follow the life of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and we should be those those who have indeed achieved the mighty success here also in this world also and in the hereafter too we are studying surah ar rahm and this is surah number 13 in order of tabulation in quran it's a small surah compared to the ones we have already studied it has only 43 ayat and Uh, the one before it was surah yusuf that we studied and the one coming after this is surah ibrahim 
So today, inshallah, we will try and make a completion of this surah. We have already studied, uh, we have already had three khutbahs about it, and today is the fourth khutbah. Basically, this surah is all about imaniyat, unity of faith. Allah Kareem, His rights, His powers, what He does for us from our birth till the time that He takes us away. Allah is the one who gives life. There is no other deity that gives life to anybody. So Allah is the one who gives us life, who gives us creation. And Allah says that in your mother's womb, I know the increase of the end, increase and decrease of the mother's womb during the time of pregnancy. So Allah is the only one what's happening during that time. And then whether we make something evident, declare it, say it loud, or we think about it in our heart, Allah Kareem says, I know it all. And then Allah is the one who is making the creation and Allah is the one who, is, who takes away his creation when the time comes. There is nobody else who can create and also there is nobody else who can bring an end to somebody's life. The end belongs to Allah. So Allah Kareem advises and says that look, those that you worship, other than me and create shirk. Have you ever considered that have they created anything that you are informing me about that I do not know of in my land, in my dominion? Are you giving me this news? There is no news like that. There is no other Allah. There is no other God. I am your Lord. I am the one who has created you and I am the one who has reputed the guardian angels in front of you and at your back and they follow you and they keep the records of all that you do. So I am all the time aware of any and everything that you are doing. I am with you all the time. And at another place Allah Kareem says that there are not two who talk to each other but I am the third one. And there are not three but I am the fourth one. And there are not more but I am with them. And they are not less and I am with them. So with that kind of surveillance directly from our Lord who has made any and all signs evident to us and gave this education to his prophet to explain not only verbally but also live that life and make it evident and clear as to what is required of us. So now since we are reaching towards the end of this surah, so clearly Prophet ﷺ has been giving this message now for 13 years in Makkah. So he's getting closer to the time that he will be migrating to Medina. So the number of people who have already been attracted towards Islam is a small group. And others who are opposing, they are also over there. So distinctly there are two different groups. So now a condition has been <coughs> painted about these two groups. And before that, Allah Kareem is explaining it in the form of a, an example. Allah gives an example. And the example is, Allah says that I sent rain from the sky and every system that is from small stream to the big rivers, every system carried it according to its capacity. The small stream flows according to its own size and the big river flows according to its own size and capacity. Then, what happens that there is a lot of rain and the flooding takes place. Flooding occurs. And when that ha happens, you see that on top of the water there is a layer of foam that you can see. You have water flowing with speed and on top we see all kind of foam. 
And Allah Karim says that you also notice this kind of form when you are doing something of uh, you are making utensils and your ornaments in a furnace. At that time also you see that there is scum and form at the top. And eventually what happens is that the water stays and goes into the earth and helps produce fruits, vegetables and crops. But as far as form is concerned it disappears because it is of no value. It is of no essence. It, is, it does not have any usefulness for anybody. So it disappears, that form. Likewise, people who are making utensils and ornaments, when they give heat to the metal that they have, there is scum and form at the top. But eventually, what they pull out of it, that is the real metal through which they make these ornaments and the utensil and the scum and the foam that comes on top that disappear. It is of no value. By this, Allah Kareem is trying to tell us that haq and batil have these kinds of characteristics. Haq is there to stay. The truth is there to stay. What is of the material value will stay. And what is temporary, momentary, wrong, eventually it will disappear and dissipate because something that is false, it does not have any foundation, it does not have any background, it does not have any support, so it cannot sustain for long in front of her. So after giving this example, Allah says that I give these examples so that you understand the basis of the unity of faith and also the basis in terms of which the signs have been spread in front of you to reach to these conclusions. And then there are those who believe and then there are those who reject. So there are two distinct clear groups. Then those who have accepted they are wise and they take the advice from this message. Allah has given them good wisdom that they have accepted the essence of this message and then they <coughs> stipulate their direction according to the directions given in this message. They fulfill their covenant with their Lord. Now those who have accepted the message, some traits and qualities have been mentioned about them. What kind of people they are, those who have accepted this message. Or even till the time of eternity, those who will accept this message, what, what kind of people they will be? Allah Kareem says that first of all, they are, they are the people who fulfill their promise or covenant with their God. They are consciously aware and they know from their heart that they have a Lord who created them and they have a Lord who is sustaining them and they have a Lord who is directing them and then they have a Lord that they will, will be going back to. So they are aware of this covenant that they made with their Lord. And if you, if you would recall, we studied this covenant, the covenant that each and every soul had, has made with Allah Kareem before even they were, before even they came to their mother's womb. Every soul has made a covenant with Allah. With Allah. And that covenant means only two words. That is, La ilaha illallah. We believe that you are the only one who is our Lord. Palastu birabbikum. The question asked was, am I not your Rab? And the answer was, Bala. Why not? Yes, you are our Lord. So that is the covenant. So these are the people who accepted the message or those that remember their covenant with their, with their Lord and all the restrictions or the rights and privileges that come with this covenant, with this agreement. And second is, they join together the relationship that Allah Kareem has ordered to enjoy. And we study that in every khutbah. When Prophet says that be good to your family, be good to your larger family, which is humanity, but be extra nice and compassionate with your own immediate family, which is your brothers, sisters, your uncles, aunts, 
and all those who are closer to you because you are related to them for reasons of blood. So, we are supposed to maintain that relationship. We are supposed to strengthen that relationship. So, these are the people who accepted this message that they remember the covenant with their Lord and they enjoy a relationship within their family and also with other people that has been ordered, that has been uh, the instruction that has been given by the Allah Karim. And then they establish Salat. They maintain Salat just like we do. And then they spend openly and secretly on the what Allah says I have given them. If I have given them more, they spend more. If they have less, they spend less. They spend openly also, in front of people also they spend, and secretly <coughs> also. No matter which way they do it, it is acceptable to Allah Karim. <coughs> sometimes secret spending is encouraged, and sometimes open giving is recommended. It all depends, for example, when we ask donation for the mask, we are not asking people to do it secretly. They can come out openly and even declare and say, I want to donate so much money for this mask or for some other mask. Because this is something which encourages other people also to join in this kind of endeavor. But when you are helping a needy person, it's better that you do it in a secret way so that his self-respect is also maintained and is not injured. So Allah says whether you spend secretly or you spend openly, both things are accepted. And they ward off evil with good. In your own life you will see around you there are a lot of bad things that people will try to do with you or with your family. One way of responding is that they are doing evil, you also do evil. But that's not, that's not what is recommended, that is not what is encouraged, that is not what we are told. Allah says, I like those who ward off evil with good, return the evil with good. So these are the people with these qualities who have accepted the message of Islam. Huh. There shall be the abode of hereafter. And what of people with good? There shall be the abode of hereafter. Gardens. Those people who have this quality, when they will go to the next world, what is waiting for them? Gardens where they shall live forever. The best life is awaiting for them at the other end. They will enter there along with their righteous family members, that is their fathers, forefathers, and also their wives and children. Righteous one, those who are of the same kind, who are righteous. Among their forefathers, wives and descendants, and the angels will come to them from all directions. When they will go into their Jannah, the angels will come to greet them. And they will say, Welcome to this abode. Peace be unto you. You have won this blessing because of what you steadfastly did in your worldly life. If you stayed steadfast as far as the unity of faith is concerned, and you were good with other people, and you cooperated with everybody else, you warded off the evil with good, this is the kind of message that is waiting for you at the other end. How blessed is the abode of hereafter. Now coming to the second group. As for those who broke the covenant with Allah, what is waiting for them? After confirming and at the relationship, and they cut the relationship that Allah had asked to establish, and then they spread mischief and chaos on the earth by any kind of means whether they, they create fights in the society or they victimize a group of people or they create unnecessary wars on the earth they shall have a wretched abode in the hereafter the worst thing is waiting for them at the other end the worst thing that anybody can do is to create chaos, disturbance in the society Subhanallah, 
This is indeed the supreme triumph over Fawzul Azim. Allah says that is the best of success. So we should be the candidate, we should make a prayer for that kind of success. That we find ourselves to be candidate that Allah in His blessing and in His bounty includes us amongst His friends and says these are people who listen to my instructions and remember me in all circumstances and gave out of what I have given them openly also and secretly, secretly also and change, try to change the world with better means not according to the worst that was done to them it's easy to do the worst it is difficult to change it with better that needs forbearance that needs fortitude May Allah give us the feet of those that we are useful member of this society wherever we are. Allah man tas salam wa min tas salam ya tu salam hiya na rabbana bis salam wa tilna daru salam tabarak ta rabbana wa ta'ala ita ya azal jilal wal ikram rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatan wa fi l'akhirati hasanatan wa akina azab al-nar wa akina azab al-kabri wa akina azab al-ashri wa akina azab al-mizan rabbana la tuzi kulubana ba'di zadaytana wa ablana min ladun tarahma inna kanta al-waha وعفونا اغفر لنا وارحمنا انت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين اللهم ارزقنا حبك وحب رسولك وحب عملك يقربنا الى حبك اللهم اني اعوذ بك من العم والاجز والفصل والبخل والجبن وصلاة الدين ولا ترجع اللهم اني اعوذ بك من جهد البلاء ودرك الشقاء وسوء القضاء وشماتة الاداء وصلى الله تعالى على خير خلق سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين وأقيم الصلاة